Hi, I'm David Hainan, the President, Founder, and Cosmetic Chemist for Loma. So let's talk about silicones and our belief at Loma, because there's a lot of false information on the internet. As a cosmetic chemist for over 30 years, there's a few things that drive me nuts. A lot of consumer go on the internet in three minutes, they're an expert. Silicones are bad and they're gonna kill you. The facts are this, there's beneficial and non-beneficial types of silicones. Think of two different types of silicones. One is called cyclics or siloxanes, and the other is called dimethicones. And this is important for two different reasons. Number one, there's three types of cyclics that are used in personal care products. There's cyclopentasiloxane, which is a D5. There's cyclotetrasiloxane, which is a D4. And there's cyclohexasiloxane, which is a D6. In Loma, we eliminated all of the cyclics. Those are very toxic to the environment. They're what's called bioaccumulative. So a cyclomethicone is very thin compared to a dimethicone, which is thicker. So what happens is the cyclics are floating on top of the water because they're polar opposite. So it's like oil and vinegar. It's starting to show up in lakes, in rivers, in oceans, and different things like that. We made the decision in early 2019 when we became EU or European compliant, we eliminated all of the, the cyclics out of our products. So in Europe and in Japan, they're busy getting rid of D4, which is cyclotetrasiloxane, D5, which is cyclopentasiloxane. We got rid of it over a year ago. We do use a silicone that's called dimethicone. Dimethicones at Loma are 100% shampoo soluble. It doesn't build up on the hair to which you can't wash it off with a basic shampoo. The marketing part of all these curly companies say that Silicones build up in the hair. We got an email just the other day about, oh, I have curly hair and, and uh, silicones are bad in curly hair. Well, that's a general uh, misnomer. There are three or four or five different categories of ingredients that actually build up on the hair. What they're not talking about is they're talking about silicones as being bad and bad and bad, but there's two or three other categories that every company use and there's what's called guar gums, there is xanthan gum, and there's quats, or what we call polyquaternions. All of those ingredients have the ability to fill in the holes in the cuticle layer. And that enables you to comb your hair out, makes your hair feel manageable, and more than anything, it adds shine to the hair. These ingredients are naturally based. They're feel-good ingredients. They make your hair feel good. Slight slip to it, you can detangle it. They add shine to the hair and, and luster and manageability to the hair. So the hair is negatively charged. Guar gum is positively charged or cationic. Silicone by nature does not have a charge to it. It's going to basically just grab onto a damaged area. Now, does that sound negative? No, because if your cuticle is abrased, you want some sort of light coating that closes down the cuticle layer so your comb goes right through the hair. So this branding and marketing that silicone is so bad and it builds up, there's no scientific proof behind it. And they're using three to four other types of ingredients that build up a lot more than any silicone ever could. Back when I was in the salon and had salons for years, I specialized in doing curly hair. So believe me when I say, if you have curly hair, there are plenty of products in the Loma brand that you will love. People can choose to use it or choose not to use it, but it doesn't build up because remember there's fine, medium and coarse hair types. There's also tight curl, medium curl, and loose curl hair types. So how can one ingredient be good or bad on everything? So learn the facts. In 30 years of scientific studies, I've only seen silicone build up on one type of hair, and that was a lie-straightened hair. Predominantly in the African-American community, 
the hair is so damaged because the pH is so high in, in lye that it really damages the hair. But any ingredient is going to build up on that type of the hair because it is so damaged. Most silicones are naturally derived, but the process to get the silicone out of the silica ore is not very environmentally friendly. I've been chasing a silicone replacement for 25 years. And about two to three years ago, the science finally caught up. The performance is finally there. These new silicone replacements feel right. They close down the cuticle. They impart shine. And more importantly, it's a renewable and a sustainable crop that's moving forward, that's finally there. We're always looking for the latest, greatest, naturally based, scientifically proven performance. We're always looking at our formulas. We're never gonna keep a formula exactly the same. And I say at the lab all the time, my employees are tired of hearing it, everybody loves change until it happens to them. We never really keep a formula the same. If technology comes along and it's improved, we look at our formula, and that's a good example. At the beginning of 2019, we've replaced all of the cyclics in all of the conditioners, a lot of the styling products and different things like that. Again, naturally inspired, organically infused. We're incredibly proud of what we do, handcraft manufacturing in our facility just outside of Seattle, Washington. What I'm inviting you to do is to look at your hair care, your skin care, and your personal care. Where most cyclics are used are in your personal roll-on and the hair oil. The hair oil category is very popular. I won't mention a brand, but if you read cyclopentasiloxane, cyclotetrasiloxane, and cyclohexasiloxane, you're gonna see that in over 90% of the hair oils that are on the market today. Both of our oils are completely cyclic free. What does Loma for Life represent? It represents the latest technology. The whole brand, if you look at a lot of hand and body lotions, you'll see silicones. Ours is completely silicone free. We place the natural, sustainable, renewable, silicone free replacements into predominantly the hand and body lotion because it's got to feel good. There's a lot of nourishing and moisturizing vitamins in it. Number three, we have an organic blend of different extracts that bring different properties to the skin. And number one is chamomile extract. Number two is calendula extract. Number three is lavender extract. Number four is witch hazel extract. Being all organically based, if you know these ingredients, you know that they're high in antioxidants, which is very good for the skin to help keep the skin youthful feeling and looking. Maxfall Solution was one of the first styling products we developed. First of all, it is silicone free. So if you have naturally curly hair, you're gonna love using Maxfall Solution. Second of all, it was developed because most people with fine hair want volume. So it does what it says. Like most of the Loma, it provides maximum volume to normal hair types. You apply a small amount, about the size of a quarter. Now distribute it evenly from roots to end. Blow dry, you're gonna find that you're gonna get volume, shine, and it helps to moisturize the hair. Curvy Cream is a really interesting product. If you look at the back, you'll see how much hold and how much shine. Curvy Cream actually has a lot of hold and a good amount of shine, but a little bit goes a long way. Curvy Cream obviously needs to be used on curly hair, but you can use it on normal hair types also. What you'll love about this product, number one, is it's silicone free. Number two, it adds a lot of definition and shine and volume to the curl. Firm Hold Gel does what it says. It's got, it's got a lot of hold to it and it's got a lot of shine to it. And because it's silicone free, a lot of curly people love silicone free, it's got even more hold than curvy cream. So if you really want a defined, fun, funky look if you're going out for the evening, apply Firm Hold Gel to damp hair, diffuse the hair, and you'll have much more defined curls. At the, towards the end of the night, if you're cutting loose, you want to run your fingers through it, it will be a soft, natural curl. 
Deep Conditioner was one of the first products we developed as a silicone-free product. Deep Conditioner actually does three different things, and it's kind of crazy, but stick with me. Number one, if you use it as a treatment in the salon or as a special treatment at home, it does what it says. It, it's a deep, penetrating, moisturizing, hydrating, rebuilding deep conditioner. Number two, it's also a fabulous cleansing conditioner. And the third application is you can get out of the shower, apply deep conditioner, and it acts as a styling cream. You're gonna get texture and volume and lustrous shine out of deep conditioner. This is the new innovation of renewable, sustainable silicone replacements, and deep conditioner performs unbelievably. If we didn't say that it didn't have silicone, you couldn't tell the difference. You're gonna love deep conditioner, particularly the natural citrus aroma. It's derived from pure orange tangerine grapefruit essential oils. We have a lot of options in our brand that you're gonna find work wonderfully. We fit to whether you want silicone free or not, or, but I'm also inviting you to be a little more open-minded to do a little bit more research around the whole myth of silicone and curly hair.